In this video, I'm going to share with you the best blitzing defense in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button down below. We release new videos every single day that can help you get better at Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know about my True Fan membership. What that True Fan membership is, is it's something exclusive that I do for my most committed players, the players that want to become the best Madden players they truly can possibly be. And if that's you, for five bucks a month, my True Fan membership is a place where we really uh, dive deep into the game. You get access to my private Discord server where we basically talk Madden 24 seven. You also get access to my meta reports, which basically what that is, is we literally break down every single week the hottest defense or the meta defense of that week, the meta offense of that week. And then we also break down concepts um, that the pro players are doing in tournaments. We actually take a look at film study and literally go through step by step exactly what the best players in the world are doing on both sides of the ball. So if that's something that interests you, it's five bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you want. And uh, again, for five bucks, you're going to get 12 exclusive videos every single month, as well as access to my private Discord server with some of the best players in the Madden community. Okay guys, so I wanted to go over nickel 245 double A gap in this video and we're going to be sharing with you um, basically a two play a two play scheme. Uh, we're going to come out in the outside dog every single play and the reason I like to come out in that outside dog or just any uh, safety type blitz is because you're going to see what it's going to do for our uh, coverage and then we're just going to basically audible into either the mid blitz or the other defense that I like is this buck, if I can find it, the buck zone blitz, just like that. Okay, so we're coming out and outside dog every play, and then we're gonna audible to mid blitz. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna do a lot for us. As you see right here, um, you're gonna kinda get this show blitz look. And the reason I like this show blitz look is because this guy right here is gonna come right down over the center. And all we're going to do here is at the snap of the ball, if the running back goes out on a route, you see we're manned up to him. If the running back goes on a route, then we're just going to go on, go out there with the running back. And as you see, you're going to get double edge pressure. What I like about this mid blitz is it's really simple to set up. And in this year's game, you're going to have a ton of fun with mid blitz. So as you see here, I just audible to mid blitz. You see how the game automatically walks him down for me. And if I see that running back go on a route, I just run to the running back. That's literally all I do. And you see, we're getting double edge pressure every single time really really simple blitz this is a very good blitz this year um and the blitz the, the man to man blitz this year is really really good uh, again you're going to see this little concept right here um, one thing that you can do is you can kind of manually drop that guy off the edge if you want to um, or you could maybe do like a man line press whatever but anyways you're just going to see i'm just going to stand right here i don't even have to go to the center i literally don't i just stand here and then i just run out to the running back that's literally all i do now I want to give you um, an example of what you're going to do if your opponent blocks the running back. So let's say that your opponent blocks the running back off the edge here. Uh, what you're going to see is we are just going to simply come over here again. And I typically actually this year, I, like I said, I like to stand kind of right over the center, just a little bit to the right. And if I see that that running back's blocking, I'm just going to come down and commit just a little bit more. And as you're going to see, we're still going to get 100% completely free pressure at the quarterback. So let me show you that again. So again, I'm just coming down. Whoops, um, accidentally messed that up. So again, I'm just coming down in this defense right here. And you're gonna see, we get really good alignment. And if I see that the running back's blocking, then all I'm gonna do is just kind of commit a little bit more down until that guard commits to me. And as you see, the pressure still completely screams at the running back. Now, uh, wanted to let you know what you're gonna do if they block a tight end. So if they block a tight end, so they're gonna block seven people. Um, they block seven people on this play. What you're going to do is you're going to actually make physical contact, and I mean physical contact with this um, this center. So snap the ball. I'm going to make physical contact, and then I release out. And as you can see, it does pick up the pressure. We don't get 100% completely free uh, pressure, but what we do gain with this, um, whoops, what we do gain with this is we get. Um, let me just show you we get a really fast shed so and again if you wanted to contain you certainly could if you wanted to maybe crap spread your line you certainly could 
but let's say they block seven, snap the ball, and I'm just gonna run right down the middle, just like this. You see we get an A-gap, kind of an A-gap type pressure that could potentially come in. But what I like about mid blitz is there's literally no setup to it. It's really simple. Um, if you wanted to, what you could do, um, if you wanted to, is when you show blitz here, you can bring this guy down and you can basically kind of put him like right here for specifically for trips tight end. So if the running back goes out on a route, you're just gonna go right to him. And as you see, the pressure still is gonna completely scream every single time. What I also like about this though, is let's say for example that, um, let's say for example that they uh, block the running back. So you're standing in this pocket right here. Um, you see that they are going to block the running back. So the snap of the ball, um, you're gonna come down. Oh, they blocked the running back. You see, that's the only unfortunate thing is you don't get the double edge pressure with the block running back, you're gonna to have to commit a little bit more. What I like about being in the middle of the field this year, um, this is just kind of my two cents early in Madden 22 for blitzing, but what I like about being in the middle of the field this year is if they block the running back and you're over the center, then you just do that right there and as you see the pressure still completely screams every single time. And what I like about this defense is you can actually mix, uh, mix up your um, man coverage with your man pressure. So I can easily audible here to the cover one hole and what you're going to see is it's going to basically look um you know essentially the same you could also if you wanted to you could use the cover one hole as you see it can you can do that right, right there as well um, the only reason you might want to be interested in doing that is just because um you're going to be able just to have you know a little bit better coverage in my opinion just from where they're lining up but that's kind of up to you but the other thing that you can do uh, specifically out of the mid blitz play if you wanted to just adjust out of that you've got man-to-man -man coverage so all we're going to do is we're just going to drop both of our defensive ends into the hard flat just like this and then what I like to do on this back side is I like to drop one of my linebackers into a hook curl and one of them into the vertical or uh, onto the running back so you see here basically we're going to get that coverage right here and then obviously our user so now you're just rushing two playing good coverage, good coverage, good coverage, and then hopefully they're gonna get out and throw it quick. Maybe they only have seven people in a route, but that's the basic concept of the buck zone blitz. Now, if you're running into uh, like a lot of people that are throwing over the middle, um, my favorite thing to do is to just simply audible. I don't know why, let me do, I don't know why my linebacker's over there, but anyway, just audible to this play, buck zone blitz. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go up a little bit to linebackers, but if you take a look at this, what you're going to see here, this guy's down here off this edge. So that means that you can come down in here with this guy, and as you can see, you're still going to scream 100% of free every single time, and you're just kind of working in the middle of the field. Okay? So that's kind of the idea. You can also do this out of the outside dog play. So if you take a look at this outside dog, you see it has the slot corner blitzing. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that uh, slot corner, put him in a zone, and then maybe just kind of drag this guy in. And I find that this right here um, is a really good way to play, especially you're gonna see you're gonna get the same pressure. That time we got three people in, but as you can see, that pressure just completely screams at the quarterback. It's really simple to set up as well. And you know, you can be blitzing really, really good pressure. It's also got really good run defense in my opinion. Um, if they just try to run the ball, I just wanna show what happens real quick. So let's just say they let's just say they try to run run the football on you, and you're sending you're sending pressure at them. You're kind of standing right in here. This year's game that that run not as good as it was last year. So, anyways, you're going to be able to get in and kind of muddy the waters. But that is the two four five double a gap. How to blitz? How to get some pressure at your opponent? I think this is probably the best blitzing defense at Madden twenty two launch right now. Really really good pressure. And then you can also create really, really good coverage from this concept. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you, if you guys want to sign up for my true fan membership, it's just five bucks a month. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. That's the best place to get all of my deep dive, uh, basically my deep dive videos where I really break down some exclusive um, meta offenses or meta defensive reports, as well as going step by step. I think the pro player film study is worth it and alone because it's not your average film study where we just sit down and talk about the game. We sit down and we literally show you with write-ups or uh, not with write-ups, but with um, video footage exactly what their setup is every single play we actually show you our play sheet notes and all that stuff so if you want to get access to that that is in the description you can sign up for that for just five bucks a month for just five bucks a month you're going to learn what the best players in madden 
are doing in the big money tournaments. So thanks for watching. And again, if you want to sign up for that true fan membership, it's five bucks a month and you can cancel it at any time. The link is in the description.